Hey everybody, welcome back. We are getting ready to do some more acrylic pouring. I have three of these, but I only got one of them taped off. If you can't tell, it's the love with the little paw in the corner. They've been sanded down, taped off. So now we're going to see what we can do with it. I'm trying to think of what design I want to do. I think we'll do a deep magenta base. What, Purper? What? Are you my baby girl? What? Nothing like getting yelled at by your cat. held her as much as she wants me to hold her. We've been busy painting. Yeah. This is another one I did not prep with primer. But it's thicker, so it shouldn't work too much, but you never know. You tell them. <laughs> All right, other colors, we're gonna do aqua green. some gray. And then I've got some hologram, which is more of a glitter. So I'm going to try to be strategic in where I place it. bit of glitter down here. Let's blow this out. And I know I do a lot of blows on the plaques, but that's the technique that works best on them, especially when they have lots of open space.
And that will work nicely. Just trying to make sure all of the insides are covered. Now this white that's around the glitter will go away. It'll dry clear. But let me go ahead and bring you in for a closer look. I have to see how the gray dries. I don't think it ruined it. I don't know if it helped at all though. All right, on to the next one. We're doing some ice cream. It's been taped off on the back. It is thin. I haven't pre-primed it or anything, so it may warp just to forewarn. But you're doing ice cream cones. So we're going to have a little bit of a color theme going on. I'm going to go ahead and do the, the bottoms because if ice cream drips on the bottoms, that's okay. This is Deep Yellow Artist Loft. And I don't have luck with my yellows, but that's when I'm mixing it with other colors. I think mixing it with other yellows, I'll be fine. So these are my waffle cones. Put some bright yellow in there. And I'm going to blow it out and then we'll add some brown. I had too much deep yellow. Let's put some more bright yellow and then we'll blend them together because I just blew them right off. Gonna bother with the brown. I'll probably ruin it if I try to put brown on. We're going to do flip cups for the tops and hopefully I can contain my amount that I put on there. So we're going to have some chocolate ice cream. How about some chocolate cherry? So that's one. Let's have some mint chocolate chip and let's have some white house which is vanilla ice cream with some cherries and do cream sickle? I'll probably 
probably should have separated the creamsicle and White House and separated the mint chocolate chip and the chocolate cherry. It's going to be hard for you to see, but I'm going to lift this one first. What? I don't know why she's yelling at me. Move these suckers around. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to mess with it. We've got some melting down the cone a little bit. All right, so here's the chocolate cherry. And then mint chocolate chip. And the White House. And creamsicle. I'm actually amazed I pulled that off as well as I did. <laughs> Here's a dry picture. On to the next one. On to our cross. And I really liked the colors of the mini cross we did with the blue and white and silver. So I think those are the colors I'm going to do again. 
I'm going to do it as a ring pour though. Uh, it's big enough and there's no missing pieces. So I think a ring pour will work well. No. Go. So I've got Artist Loft Brilliant Blue, my mix of Titanium White, Cerulean Blue. I want to do some Lavender or Violet. And it's literally going to be just a hint because I just ran out of my Violet. Do some more Brilliant Blue, more Titanium White, some more Cerulean, and we'll finish with some Deep Magenta. It should be more than enough. Now the plan is what pattern for the cross. I think we will we'll do what I did before, which is straight down, and then we'll do a cross. Actually, no. Let's go across, up, across, down. And see what kind of pattern we get that way. So it's a traveling ring pour. Let's see how we do. And we're pouring it left-handed. Let's do some tilting. The cup is heavy on that one side. It doesn't want to stay up.
Okay, I think I've got all the edges. Let's go ahead and torch. Let's bring you guys in for a closer look. So starting at the bottom. bars and then on on that and on to our next one all right last but not least we've got some football helmets I guess they could be baseball umpire helmets I think they're football helmets though <laughs> that's what we're treating them as um, we're going to do these as flip cups. I'm going to do one in, I think the hokey colors are orange and uh, like a dark blue. I want to make sure I get some over onto this part. That's going to be the hardest part to get. And then... Let's do, let's do some UNC. So I'm doing cerulean blue with titanium white. And I didn't say what the colors were for um, this one. They're Artist Loft Orange and Brilliant Blue. I have one more helmet and so I'll do NC State colors with that one once I get it taped off. I didn't have it taped off and ready though. All right, so let's start with this one. Gonna go ahead and torch it and then we'll spread. I probably had that out of view. I apologize if I did. try to do something similar with this one. Go ahead and tilt it. I think I've got it out of view again, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure I've got the edges covered. Can't get the inside edges 
on the grid part, the mouth guard. Trying to pop that bubble, it won't pop. There we go. I had to pop it with my finger. And we need to pop this one. Toast with my fingers too. I didn't realize. There's a bubble right there. Go ahead and pop that one. There we go. Let go! <laughs> Let me bring you guys in for a closer look. So here's the first one. With that brilliant blue and orange. That's cups colors too, isn't it? <laughs> so it could go for a couple of different things. And then blue and white are a lot of teams, but the Carolina blue is what I was aiming for. I actually like how that one turned out better than how that one turned out. And that wraps that up for this part of the rush of painting. Thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.